Hi guys, Gemma here. Now for you mums out there, do you ever find your toddler is always on your phone? Hazel is always on my phone and she absolutely loves some of the games that are on there. And I know you can download a ton of toddler apps and I do have some, my ones are free from, I think it's Fisher and Price. Anyway, I get them on, she absolutely loves them and then she turns them off or then she closes the screen or then she opens an ad and you find yourself constantly, constantly redoing it and then she chucks the biggest tantrum because you're touching the phone. So I wanted to show you mums out there who already don't know there is actually a parent mode on iPhone and it is the biggest lifesaver and it basically means that your toddler can't access or exit the app that you've put them in. They can't click on ads, they can't download and they can't spend money that you don't want them to do. So I'm going to quickly show you how to lock or child lock your iPhone so that they can use your phone but just limited to what you want them to do. So for those of you that really need a life-saving tip for your toddler using your iPhone or iPad, so an, I an, I an Apple device, get it right, um, keep watching and I'll show you how. Okay, so here's my iPhone, and it's got a really nice big chunky case on <laughs> This iPhone case has saved my iPhone that many times. It is so good. So if you see these, I highly recommend them. They're quite bulky, but they, they just have done so well. This cute hazel is my background. I've got a video, I will be doing a video on how we shot these at home. Um, so I'll leave the link below when it's uploaded. But anyway, on your phone, you want to find ones in this folder, but you want to find your settings, which looks like this button here. And you want to scroll down to general because it is a general setting on your iPhone and then you want to scroll to accessibility sorry I scrolled past it. this one here so the next option is going to be learning so if we scroll to learning there's a thing called guided access and that's the thing that we want to enable so when you go into it it basically explains that guided access keeps the iPhone in a single app and allows you to control which features are available so we want to turn this on you also want to set a passcode. This is basically when you want to exit out of the app, you obviously want to prove that it's you and not the toddler. So once you've set your passcode, you don't have to do this every time. Once you've set this and turned it on and you've entered your PIN code, you don't have to keep coming back into this. It's always on. And the access accessibility shortcut you can have on or off. I've got mine on at the moment. So let's come out of it by pushing the home button. And let's go into an app that say Hazel would play. So I have a folder here called Hazel. And these are the Fisher-Price uh, apps that we have. So if we go into here, it's probably going to start singing at me. So I will turn the sound off. So bear with me. So we will turn that off. So if you go into game, this is the one that Hazel gets out of. This is, by the way, is actually a really cute game. This is obviously, I've turned the sound off, but they all move around and they also move and fall whichever way you turn the iPhone. So search Fisher-Price apps or free apps in your um, app store and you should be able to get them so what you basically do is rather than have her getting out of it or pushing the home button because that this game doesn't really have many buttons that she can get out of by the home button it's designed for kids some of them obviously aren't but she does push this home button quite a bit and my case actually has it raised i don't know if you can see that but so it's quite easy for her to push so what you want to do to activate your guided access is triple click your your phone now what this basically does is zooms out on the app and it basically circles the areas on the screen that you would like to disable so I want to disable that home button I don't know if it's gonna work on me right now so there you go so it's gonna disable that home button I probably could have done it a bit smaller but my fingers are obviously super chunky I'm working on it guys stop picking on me <laughs> Um, it automatically, when you have guided access going, I forgot to mention, it automatically disables that home button anyway. So you can just access the guided access and not do a circle if you're happy with the screen, but you just don't want the home button to work, then you can go ahead and just click start. But if there is extra areas and you don't have to do one, you can do multiple areas that you don't want them to touch if it's ads or um, a download or an exit button. You can also disable extra areas like I've done there. And like I said, the home button doesn't work anyway, so it automatically disables. You can um, hear your other options if you wish to. Um, 
but it's basically we're disabling the touch button you can also disable your volume button and your sleep wake button which obviously if you don't know that's your sleep wake button which is actually your power button and then your volume buttons on the side so she doesn't really touch those so I will leave that come on camera focus uh, and then you can click done and then you basically click start if it, my finger's not working so it says guided access start so it basically if you have a look I can move these icons around here as soon as I hit the dead zone they bounce off and these are dead zones I can't actually get out of them and the home button doesn't work so it just comes up guided access enabled you want to triple click to get out of it so Hazel they don't grasp triple click and if they did you'll see what happens so if they do manage or if you want to get out of it you can see it's a bit of a weird light but the triple click button if you triple click on your home button, it now offers the passcode, which is what I originally put in. So you can put in your passcode and hey presto, you can get back to your guided access and click end. And when you click end, it says ended and you are back to normal play and normal functions of your iPhone. So all the buttons and the areas that I had put in now work and we can exit out of it. So that's it. Really simple. I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you at the next one. Bye. Cost items that we have, just how we store them and how we use them. Um, so in here, I've got in the left one. This is all my pocket nappies. This is actually a mixture.